In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a selected state for your buttons, for your uh, live navigation buttons. If I preview this, you'll see that um, I have a hover state, however, I do not have a selected state, so the user would not know what page they are visiting, and that is really not um, a good practice. So um, the way we actually add the selected state for our buttons is very very easy and it basically involves just a block of code I'm going to copy paste this code it's an li code it's li class and I've basically called it an active state and of course this would be the href so this one since I'm the index it's in the index page it would be called index.html so when I do this, you'll notice that it automatically it um, assigned the default web browser blue color uh, as the link to my selected state, which is something that I don't want. I want to customize it. So the way that you customize it, just click inside the um, letter, inside the link, and you click on the, you add another selector. And you see another selector appears and basically says you want to make a, um, some aesthetic modification to active the active link. Once you do that, I can go, ha go ahead and go to my text and I could, um, I could uh, simply change the color of my text. Uh, I also don't want to have an underline, so under text decoration, I'm going to say none. You can add borders, you can add uh, boxes, I mean, you can customize it however you choose to. You can add a background color to it. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that you can actually modify, uh, oops, modify uh, the, 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 these options. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually preview this. You see it kind of did it. It doesn't look very good like that though. So what I'm going to do, I'll just um, get rid of that background color for the text. But basically this is how you would do it. And if you want it to be wider, you would add padding uh, to, to, the, to, to, to the actual text. But right now I just want to leave it nice and simple. And if I preview this now, you see that I have my selected state, but I need to delete the other home. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this other home. Let's say if um, you're doing the same thing for about, I'm going to go ahead and save as about. And I'll show you the easiest way of kind of doing the same thing is simply um, copying basically copy uh, changing this to home home and then changing this to oops to about And making sure this is pointing to the about HTML and simply changing the order. So I just come back here, command X, move it, move it down, paste it in here, and now you'll see that you see that now I have my about state as a selected state. So it's simply copying and pasting and changing the order of your navigation in the code that allows you to quickly uh, modify um, and add a selected state to your, to your web pages.